Dear friends, I would not have you be ignorant of the devil's devices. Those who practice the occult are in high-ranking positions over you. Governing the world. The Kabbalah, the Freemasons, the LDS, the Jesuits, and the Satanists are the five divisions of the five-pointed star. Many diverse organizations spring from these. Low-level initiates seldom realize just what they are entangling themselves into. Many are also born into the system and trained, sometimes, even before birth to fit a certain role. The Luciferian system is a tangled web that infiltrates and dictates policies according to the will of the god of this earth, the prince of the power of the air. Most people have seen this is true. We acknowledge the wickedness in high places, the principalities and powers in the heavenlies. But do you know these legalistic demonic plans are reproduced in the land below? The land itself is mapped territory owned and operated by Satan and his minions. The ocean too is governed by marine spirits and the imagery is pointed to one power above all the others in the sea named Leviathan. The rights of the people were taken away through iniquity. The use of this world, as I understand it, is through contracts between humans and demons. This is seen in the state signs and sigils. Right down to the emblems on official uniforms. The five-pointed star, commonly known as the pentagram, is quite the iconic symbol. Most notably used by law enforcement and branches of military authority. We are given little stories and narratives to tell of a marvelous little made-up history, but we, at Chevy Investigates and Opinionates, and in the truth-seeking community, know the truth lies deeper. We know that everything in this realm relates directly with the kingdom of God or the kingdom of Lucifer. You're on one side or the other and everything else is here to distract you. Do I go too far? The older I get, the more this rings true. You only have your soul to take with you when it's all said and done. While we are here try to snatch some souls from the fire if you can. But we stand before God alone on that holy and fearsome day. I don't want to get there only to be turned away. I want to spend eternity with God. In His grace and loving kindness, because, Lord knows, the only time I feel all right is in His presence. Don't lose your soul to the cares of this world. It's never too late to ask for forgiveness, believe in the finished work of Jesus and be saved. It's never too late to try to spread the good word of God's great gift of salvation, and expose the works of the devil to dispel the allure of evil. It's ugly close up. Look beyond the illusion and find the meaning. That is what I am attempting to do in this video. The oldest connotations of this symbol date back to paganism. The points of the pentagram represent the five earthly elements, air, water, fire, and the top point representing spirit. However, the symbol has now gained infamy as an evil symbol because of its fame in occultism. Egyptian culture associated this star with the underworld. In addition, if the star's top point faces downward, it refers to the sigil of the Church of Satan. It is a symbol used by all branches of the government and military. I have to be honest, this always raised questions in my mind, but I never gave it too much thought until recently. Satan's devices are being exposed. What was hidden is coming to light. Things that were whispered in closets are now being shouted from the rooftop. I am here to expose the darkness and reveal the devices of the enemy. This is a video where I am exposing a tool of the elite called Gematria. You can Google the Gematria calculator to find the Hebrew number equivalent to any word or date. As Christians, we believe in an appointed time, a God-given directive to march, rest, fast, or pray. Led by the Spirit. But those who practice the occult use astrology, sign, tarot, runes, and other forms of divination to predict the action they should take. They also use gematria and numerology. As Christians, we see how numbers are very important and have shadows and complexities to those numbers. Three days in the belly of a fish shadows three days Jesus spent in the grave. Forty days of rain for Noah foreshadowed forty years in the wilderness for Moses. The list goes on and on. The number codes in the Bible are infinite, if you're interested in that type of thing, I recommend reading the Da Vinci Code, it's better than the movie, by the way. In order to decode the communications of the elite, you must become knowledgeable in their devices. 
For many years, church and government censorship kept hidden knowledge away from the masses. But now even what has never been meant for us, little peons are being revealed, so that we are not kept in the dark. The plans of the wicked are laid bare before God, and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I am making this video for education and entertainment purposes only. These thoughts and ideas come from the research I found on the internet. And my own speculation, nothing is intended to harm or hurt anyone's feelings, so if you feel some kind of way about Gematria, I suggest you turn back now, consider this a trigger warning. I am continuing to look at the Micah Francis case. A case full of mystery and speculation, as it is. Maybe we can all put our minds, prayers, and curiosities together and solve the puzzles that remain. Micah Francis was found at Lumber River State Park on April 27, 2024. Her untimely demise and following controversies have led to international review and reactions. Rather than rehash the information, I am trying to spread a deeper, spiritual insight into the matter. If you have any thoughts or ideas, please leave them in the comment box. Please also like and subscribe, as we are growing this community from the ground up, and you all mean the world to me. The Elites use symbols as timeless and wordless global communication. They use the gematria when enacting their evil plans. You can use headlines from the paper on the calculator to see a deeper meaning, too. Numbers are of utmost importance. Dates, times, anniversaries, intricate number systems devised by the architects of the world, they are very legalistic. They love to dot the I's and cross the T's. They are offered no grace in the demonic system. Mercy and truth are God's attributes, not Satan. He also is not creative, so I have to laugh at how God is showing up his system and exposing the deception that has kept us blind and in servitude all this time. I have indicated and exposed some demonic tactics in previous videos concerning the justice for Micah case. I am picking up the spiritual angle, because the physical angle has been hashed and rehashed. These are just my opinions and findings, I am not trying to persuade anyone in any direction, other than to think outside the box. Please leave your big brain ideas below. I would love to hear from you. I am using the Gematria calculator for words from this case, just to see what happens. Please join me, Chevy cool lady, as we dive right in, sorry for the long intro, I just want to be clear about where I am coming from, thanks so much. Using the Jewish table. Let's start with the date. April, 27th which in Gematris equals the numeric value of 170. Here are some of the words I found interesting. Planned. Golden child. Lamb of God. Hand of God. Hidden Bible code. These seem to apply in one way or another, but I found the last one I wrote strange. Hidden Bible code. Really? The full date of April 27, 2024 remains the same numerical value of 170, in case you were wondering. The next words will be the names of Micah Francis and John Paul Miller, and just Miller for the fun of it. So, Micah Francis equals 272. Here are the results, I can't make this up. I'm back bitches. The cat came back. Research. Cancellation. Crack the code. Now John Paul Miller. This equals 1143. Here is another interesting finding. Very interesting. Stupid Discord. Background actor. Narcissist. A liar and an enemy of God. An atrocious attitude. Complete psychopath. All returns to naught. The property is free. Disturbed. Of course, not all the word that show up makes sense, but some seem oddly accurate, don't you think? Now we will just do Miller. Miller equals 164. The words that share the numerical value in Hebrew are Thing Escape Speed Phase Sold Flipped this was a more general phrase, so the results are more general. Let's go ahead and do solid rock which is 316. Some word equivalents to this phrase are Scorecard 
Detection. Spiraling. Blood craft. Going to hell. A troll leaked. FBI is a disgrace. Life, dead friend, death. Need a birth code. Again I didn't make this up, people. I entered Regina Ward for giggles, again this is pretty spot on. At least some of it. The first phrase that jumped off the page was. A foolish man needing to be taught a lesson. Enough said. We also got, is guilty of telling a lie. Ahem. And. I am coming for you in the end. I like that. What are you guys thinking about now? Please share in the comment box. We are just humans, thinking outside the box, together. No harm is done, and actually it could add its own depth to our understanding. I have always heard the English language is weak when compared to other languages, which hold more context in the individual word or phrase. So this gives us a chance to do just that. Develop a fullness to the text. I hope you think so too. Please like and subscribe to keep more cool content coming. Thanks so much. Next, we are going to pull up Lumber River, because that is where she was found. This equals 1011. Some words that ring true are. It's a true story G. Reject is the real bride. The real bride's rejected. Jealous loser. Good night darling love. And wake me up. It's all pretty interesting. I do want to present this as a word and frequency correlation. The words are converted to numbers which have a Hebraic equivalency. Because in Hebrew letters are also numbers. Numbers equal a frequency. And Tesla said, to understand the universe is to think in frequencies. Because our God is on all dimensions, he is a quantum creator. And our limited minds cannot comprehend what is that length, what is that breadth, what is that width of God our creator. We cannot even understand our own language sometimes. Because much has been stolen from us, lie our vowels, which were replaced, over time. It's all quite deep and I suggest doing your own research on these topics, if they interest you. This is something I find interesting to think about. But please do not use this as a spirit box. That leads into necromancy and divination, which are to be avoided. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time. See you in the next video. Love you all lots. Peace out.